Hello everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 Insomnia Edition. Last time, I believe we finished killing the two other leaders here in the temple where all the goblins are staying. We did some other bits of murdering around the place, but now we kind of need to pick through whatever is available to us here in regards of supplies, like this Melf's Acid Arrow Scroll. And then we should probably go and tell Halsin what we have learned regarding the people's death and that he can be free to go on his way to do what he needs. What are we perceiving? Curious. A pouch? Where's the pouch? Cash and jewels. Fairly classic. There was a basic poison. I feel like it's going to be like a, a big change of pace when... We kind of move from this space where things haven't been too bad. Non-cantrip spells deal an additional 1d4 damage when the wearer drops to half of their hit points. And everything that's going to be in the Underdark and the uh, the Grim Forge. I feel like those encounters are going to be on a whole other level. Uh, the Priestess's Journal is all about the riddle downstairs. Scroll of Hold Person is lovely to have. Did you have anything in your pockets, in your loincloth? Just a supply pack that we do not need because we are not eating or sleeping. Alright, we could go down, but let's go and relieve Halsin. And then the other thing I need to do is I would like to see if we can't get back to camp and meet up with are you still hiding you are meet up with the rescued volo so that we might replace our eye with the eye that he has so that we can crit again now there's also the matter of the shopkeepers over here i wonder who might most easily deal with that shadowheart does have the firebolt cantrip and there is a lot of explosives in here. It's just a matter of getting up to where it would be beneficial for us to actually fire off that shot. We'll worry about that later. Let's go get Halsin. Let's be on my way. Here we go. Pop through the door. Thank you. So, everyone around here, very, very dead. We need to cut across. Back to the chamber where Halsin was imprisoned over here. So otherwise, up in the overworld, I would love to get a meeting with Volo. We can't have the party with the tieflings because that involves sleeping, I believe. Otherwise, we're pretty much ready to go down to Grimforge, I think. Or at least the Underdark, rather. Let's resolve this, though. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. They are all dead. You did it. You actually did it. The leader's dead. <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice, but those three were too dangerous to leave alive. Well, now I need your help. And you'll receive it soon enough. Return to the Grove. All right. I can see to some map. As for our XP, we are 625 away from where we want to be. Nobody in dire need of healing but uh we could probably maybe perk lazel up a bit with a potion will be done. uh yeah all right 13 is okay Still alive, so now progress. the next thing to do if we're going to get out we're going to have to fight our way out and so i think that's going to be easier from the balcony so, after we get past all of this, assuming they haven't added a secret entrance in the back corner 
where one of the prisoners escapes from. I will check, just because it's not something I look into very often, assuming that there's nothing to be found there. But over in this general direction, there's a series of cliffs. I'm assuming that this just leads to a regular old dead end. There's a skeleton at the very least. But no, there is no exit for us around here. Gonna have to find an alternate way out. So we could go out the front door. That's obviously a much bigger, scarier fight than if we break out using the secret passage above that we've not We've not actually broken through the stone yet, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to break through the stonework from the inside. That might present a problem. Let's have a look. Collapsed corridor. Let's get the party up here. Stealth. Okay. Something's blocking it from the other side. That option is out then. Back down we go. So, if we want to get to the regular camp... Because I've never seen the other followers... Seen ...in the bits of camp where, if you camp from the Underdark or similar, you get to a different campsite. So, might be an instance of breaking ourselves up. Where are you all going? Come back. Be here. I just wanted Will to create a healthy imp. Oh my god. AI. I really hope the movement AI is just a little bit better when we get to 1.0. You are going to make yourself a fresh imp, my friend. And that imp is going to turn itself invisible. Then we're all going to hide as we creep up this piece of corridor. Time to press ahead. Seems simple enough. We're going to put out this lantern, try and give ourselves some shadow to hide in. And then breaking through this door, we did walk through here, so we have seen what's on the other side of this door before. And if we can force them to come slightly towards us, then I'm not going to complain about it. Who are we better to sneak attack first? Um, warrior. They're both warriors, so you've made a you. grave mistake. Let me cautious. We missed. They did not see us. Which is kind of hilarious. Alright, we're all working through various levels of stealth and hiding. Alright. We're all in the fight. Lozelle. A rare chance to get in there with the sword. Great work. I approve. Love to see them dashing towards us, as ever. It means they're not attacking us this round. Who else are we afraid of? The archers do not have a lot of HP, so we might be able to just Eldritch Blast them out of existence. Just like that. Will, bonus action, take a healing potion. Top of the order dashing down because they don't have line of sight from up on that ledge. I was going to call it a cliff. It's definitely not a cliff. Lazel, you know what to do. Lovely. They do the crit breakdance. Shadow heart. You can probably take out a tracker, right? Great work. Never a dull moment. Who's left? 
a sharp eye and a sharp eye. Can we hide here? We can. We don't have sneak attack available, which is annoying. But we hit them. We dive around a corner. Will might be able to finish that off. Very nice. They too can dive around the corner. Where are they going? Nowhere fast or functional. All right, one down. Take two. Good. Round three. Excellent. All right, a couple of hit points lost, but nothing major. Just going to be the odd gold coin to take. There's going to be a couple of really good magic items for us to buy down in the Underdark. I have no idea how we're doing for cash in regard to that kind of balance that we want, but... You know, I'll take the few bits that we can get around here. The arrows are a nice touch as well. All right. We can't... Oh, you were invisible, so you never got pulled into the initiative because you were completely unseen. But with minions, like our imp here, we can't open this door. So that means we have to go out with the group. Can't give up now. That means we have to fight anybody that would want to fight us on the other side of these doors. Which is not the best. Let's split these. Give a couple to Will. What am I needed? Will. We'll drink these. And we'll hold on to the big ones. Lazel, what do you got? Plenty of these. Alright. I think that's good for our health right now just going to be a question of how is this going to go it's a great question a dull moment. we should definitely all be stealthed Maybe I should stay crouched forever. and I'm expecting to just roll directly into initiative here oh god I have regrets <laughs> this one's having a great tea pose of a time. Guard Gurgen. Possibly my biggest fear out of this lot. We could go back inside. Though Will is very late in the initiative. We could. Do we all have potions of invisibility? I'm holding four of them. So, I probably should have divided those up a bit sooner. The other option would be if we all have potions of speed. Shadowheart does not, because of course I'm bad at doing life admin. We could have tried to dash away. How far away is it? It's like... 150 feet, 160 feet. We could probably make it with a dash and everything else. Can't slow down. Don't want to draw any attention. Right. Shadowheart's going to be up next. Good miss. I wish I had Gale with me. That's for sure. How big of a sleep spell could we get going? Probably not big enough, right? I was charm person, not sleep. What am I talking about? Moving. 
All right. Let's all hope for really big hits. 75% chance is really high. More. 21 damage is reasonably solid. They are up next, which is not great, but there's very little we can do about it. Thirteen is not so bad. Lots of these goblins moving on the same initiative. This one doesn't have a reaction, it seems. Also, what we should definitely do is sting this guy whilst we're invisible. Cool. Um, you've already been. What options do we have here? Disarming attack. 18 HP. Menacing attack. Let's go disarming. Gnarled tree branch. Can't target humanoids. I assume that's can't be wielded by the humanoids. 2d8 plus 4 bludgeoning. Great club. Right. One big threat down. That's good. Let's move away slightly, just so that we're not all in one giant group. Will Do we go after Bigger foes or smaller foes Let's go after the smaller ones Ah, oh, Not great I'd rather have One big thing to fight Than 12 small things you know Right, we're up. We are unable to hide, which is a shame. Try again. Nope. All right, then. Standard attacks over here. Damn. They are up. They are attacking Will. Genuinely thought that said 98 HP then. Couldn't have been, but it looked like it, didn't it? Are we going to spend more spell slots on this fight? What do we have for spell scrolls? Let's go with a guiding bolt. On Bowenuk. Baweknuk. Damn. Uh, little guy. Sure. It's going great. Um. AoE damage, anyone? AoE damage? I know we got some bombs. Honestly, Lazel, take a potion of speed here. I'll take the opportunities to attack two targets with your giant sword. Great. Um, this is unideal. Why have I not been using this like a thousand times in the history of the world, honestly? I entirely forgot its existence, and I'm bad. Alright. Uh, we can't throw to here because our path is interrupted. Upsetting. 
Because that would be a great throw if we could. Now, if I don't leave this guy's area of influence, he doesn't get a chance to hit me. If we hit our imp, so be it. I'd say worth it. I don't think this one actually blessed anything. Just for himself, I guess. We are up. We can sneak attack this one engaged with Will. Good damage. They are up again, but we have two bonus offhand action attacks. And they have three HP left. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. We hit him for two of his remaining three HP. Now he's up. Will is down. That's the first time someone's gone down, apparently. Um, we could healing word. I don't feel super inclined to. Great. All right, two small ones left. Is there anyone in range of Lazel? There is, because she is on Potion of Speed at the moment. Lazel's actually out to clean up. Or not. Right. Let's get Will up. One hit point. No medicine check for that. Not in the current version of the game. Shadowheart, can you make this shot? Not well. How about now? Better. Good damage. Imp, fly over. Finish him off. Or not. Lazelle, you got two attacks up here. I said you got two attacks up here. Okay. The camp is still swarming with foes. Lazelle, stop being lethargic. Good. Okay. Right, for starters, we're coming up on thinking about my first short rest. Because we are all down quite a lot of HP. Zara, we're going to go for a little wonder without everybody else on our tail. We'll obviously take any supplies. That must have been the trader or the gambler. Dwarf's poem. It's a quest item type thing, but I'll leave that for the big proper campaigns. Oh, hello. If I'm not over encumbered by it. Nope, we've still got loads of weight. Right. No traps, please. If we have to get into another fight, I want it to be with a very small number of foes at once. Healing potion is incredibly welcome. There's a couple of foes possibly at the top of the tower there. Just healing potions that I really could go after. Arrow of Roaring Thunder, though. Not a bad one. Anything here? I'll take a Thieves' Tools. To 
That was definitely the only way to collect that, wasn't it? Uh, a metal shield with a hand of the fist on it. Crude chest. Hello. Daggers, studded shield, studded shield, battle axe, leather gloves. All right. Path lies before me. If it's safe to get over this bridge and out towards the main center of the map, we'll bring the rest of the party over. Looks pretty safe to me. So. Careful. Let's go for a walk with the rest of us. We're all in tow. So what other things do we have to use before a short rest? We've got all of these weapon style attacks. Lazelle has two battle dice. Uh, Astarian doesn't have much to do on short rest refreshes. And Gale doesn't have much on short rest rest. Uh, short rest. Rest refreshes. So, Let's not get caught off guard. if I could take a small fight with Lazelle to use her battle maneuvers for extra damage, I would. Then a short rest. Oh, hello. I never fought all of these guys. Well, that's fun. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. All right, we might get a chance to go a bit tough on some folks. We'll take a couple of small ones just for the meantime. If we are indeed thinking about using a short rest, we don't want to be too healthy ahead of that. Be a waste of valuable free health points. How close are you getting to that? Well, that did a lot less than I was hoping for. Don't see us, don't see us, don't see us. This is a terrible place to try and hide. Yep. Okay. Fresh fight. Lozelle, why do you have so much speed? Momentum? Yes. Alright, well we wanted an excuse to use our things. Here's a menacing attack for you. Great. Pommel strike. Sharp eye coming round for the fight. All right, we're up. That's a friendly looking shadow. Right. There's a spot where we can sneak attack from. Um, Sentinel, Tracker, Big Guy, or Warrior. Let's go Warrior. 13 damage is decent. People moving as groups. Uh, yeah, go on then. Need to use those dice somehow. Two of these guys to fight is a lot less fun. Uh, hamstring shot, piercing strike. Let's go with a hamstring shot. Right there. Of course, they make the save. Um, flourish and piercing strikes is not going to be worth more than Eldritch Blast is right here. Solid. Alright, we have one die left. Back to a menacing attack against this one. 
They too make the save. Do we have a small healing potion for a bonus action? We do indeed. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, we can sneak attack the ones that are engaged with Lazel without having to hide. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a magic missile with all these almost dead creatures. Good. Oh, come on. One HP remaining. Right. Let's stand... Excuse you. Stand right there. Can we cleave both of these guys? Oh, man, that would have been so good. Lazelle's AC just doing work, though. We're going to move in for the bonus action offhand strikes with these really low HP enemies. Push in another one. Lovely. And then just a ranged attack on you. Are you the last one? No, there's two of them. But the one behind the other. T -t -t Triple kill. Uh, can you get an Eldritch Blast that far back? You cannot. Fine. But we probably can't get a short bow that far back either, nor a cantrip. Lazel, though, we have piercing shot. Classic. Ow. Not a fan of that. So close. Heading there. One damage. Favors the fearless. Come on, Will. It's your bread and butter. One damage on a goblin. <laughs> oh no. I am fury. I am death. Can we make the run? We can. Bow, or you break. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, so now we have a way in and out, which is certainly better than not. We still have a lot of our HP, but the other three are suffering. Now, if I really wanted to get Min Maxi, we'll swap two out for Gale and Astarian, although I don't know if they heal on a short rest if they're not actively within the party. Not sure on that one. In any case, Will's ready to get his two spell slots. Lazelle is ready to get her four superiority dice. Three of them are ready to get a good amount of HP on a short rest. Seems a reasonably good time for it if there ever were one. Haven't seen that game in years. So, from here, we can fast travel to camp. Volo made it, which is good. We're going to have to do something a little fun here. Breathe quiet. Move with care. I want to be directly behind him. Light on my feet. And then... We are going to put the eye that Volo had 
back in his pocket. Because I then want to be able to converse with him about it. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flares? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Uh, we fought a bunch of them. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. Uh, we've killed them. That, that can't be. We were captured by them. In the we, we killed them in the lair. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? I have. More like psychic transference. Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. Unless... Unless you've been infected with one of their parasites? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Only disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flare? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Not today, it's not. Examine me. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. How is it I've got so far through early access and never had this conversation before? You're going to find my hag's eye. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! I want rid of this thing. If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Oh, Folk Hero, the Bard with Nine Lives. Will is inspired. Volo has decreed to remain in our camp. Having such learned a scholar nearby might be useful. Having such a learned. Blazer of Benevolence. Remedial Rhymes. When you inspire an ally using Bardic Inspiration, you gain four temporary hit points. Light Armor. I mean, I'll take it, but it was not what I was needing. Um, anything with the research? Not yet, I'm afraid. But my expectations are very, very high. The eye? No longer for sale. But what I definitely do want is a scroll of shatter. Let's do bartering, please. Um, potions of healing. Uh, scroll of Grease, Scroll of Blur, Scroll of Sleep. We must have tons of jewellery to trade off, right? Uh, where's that? Blazer of the Benevolence. You can have that back. I have not got a bard in the group. Some silverware. Gems. Gems. I think that'll probably be fine, right? Trade that off. I mean, in fact, I could probably... How do you fare? Where are those plus one weapons we found? Uh, 
trade off plus one great sword plus one longbow Ooh. no we are we hold on cancel get me out of here Not yet, all right I'm afraid. i think we're gonna have to sleep a bunch if we want that conversation to go anywhere and we currently cannot are we able to equip a longbow with our elven ancestry not proficient martial weapons or longbows damn uh, Lazel. Well be done. A heavy crossbow for plus 4 to hit 1d10 plus 2. Plus 5 to hit 1d8 plus 3. I'd rather hit more often for slightly less damage on that front. Okay. Well, Volo is saved, but nothing about fixing our eyeballs, unfortunately. So, nothing to do about that, I guess. But for now... That is going to be the day's adventure. Thank you ever so much for joining me. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.